Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today wherever you are. Today I am going to be doing my August Ipsy Glam Bag Glam Bag Plus unboxing. I have actually used a couple of the items that I uh, purchased as add-ons to my Glam Bag Plus today in a uh, almost full face uh, first impressions. I'm shooting several videos today. I don't know which one's gonna go up first. That, you know, full face first impression, as you can well imagine, is going to be the longest one to edit, so it may not be the first one to go up. But we're gonna jump right into this because I still have a couple more to go. And it's getting late in the day already. It's about a quarter after five. So we're gonna start as usual with the glam bag, which is the one that comes with the actual bag and the sample size products. So the cards this time for the August 2019 have again the same theme of bury yourself, just different pictures but otherwise same color scheme same idea and the bag this month looks like this kind of, again plastic on the outside that fabric on the inside cute little bag and the first item is the Suva Beauty Eyeshadow in Turmeric. So here is the shadow itself. That is a beautiful golden glimmery shade. Get a better look at it. Isn't that gorgeous? I got another shade in, I believe it's coriander as an add-on. So what I'll do at the end of this portion of it is I'll swatch them both on the back of my hand so you can see what they look like. So what it says is it's easy to apply, opaque, water resistant. Honestly, what more could you want from an eyeshadow? It says this cream slash powder hybrid formula is beyond buttery and blendable. The gold foil shade is so fun for all of your end of summer looks. And it is also totally vegan. The next item is the Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later Face Primer Matte Primer. So that's what this little guy looks like. And it says, whether you are hitting the beach or lounging poolside, your makeup needs a little extra protection in the summer heat. This matte finish primer will keep your makeup looking fresh through sweat, humidity, and water. No one likes piling on the products when temps are high. The silky primer is so lightweight and not the least a bit greasy, so you'll barely feel it on your skin. It minimizes the appearance of pores, so your makeup goes on smoothly and evenly and the matte finish formula helps to keep your complexion shine free. I will definitely have to give that a shot and see how that goes. The next item is the Papa Recipe Balm B Honey Moisture Cleansing Foam. And looks like this is, is it K? Yep, it's a K-Beauty brand and Papa Recipe is the name of the brand, but here's the little sample thing. And it says, sometimes nothing feels better than scrubbing up after a long day. Our new go-to for fresh, clean skin, this lightweight and gentle foaming cleanser that takes it all off. Great for dry skin types. This baby gets rid of dirt and oil without stripping skin of moisture. Honey extract, propolis, and olive fruit oil work together to protect, nourish, nourish and boost skin's hydration. Propolis is a resinous mixture made by honeybees and a favorite of Queen Cleopatra is also a great acne fighter. The foam's a bit denser than some cleansers, 
which makes your skin feel super squeaky clean when you use it. So needless to say, I've not tried this one out yet. What I'll probably do is just put in like one of those subtitle things down here. I'll use this as the second step to my cleansing routine tonight when I wash all of this off. And I'll let you know how that goes. The next item is the Luxie Beauty 237 Blending Dream Catcher. So that's what this looks like. And it says this handcrafted fluffy eyeshadow brush is just the right size and shape to seamlessly blend any shadow formula from cream to powder. It's great for creating a dramatic smoky eye look. The small brush head helps you to blend eyeshadows along the crease with precision. And because it's from Luxie Beauty, you know this brush is cruelty free, hypoallergenic, and made of high quality synthetic bristle. And let's see, yep. And this one here, the last item that came with the box, is the Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana Cream, like the little sample thingy. And this is the one that they said smells like, or at least some influencers have said smells like um, popcorn jelly belly jelly beans. I gotta say, because I lifted it up a little bit. Here, let's just finish taking this thing off. We'll grab some of this and just... So it's the typical, if you've seen or had experience with the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom, or the Akai, Asai, however it is you pronounce that cream. Texture's the same. And yeah, yeah, it does <laughs> smell like popcorn flavored jelly bellies. It's like a sweet, sweet popcorn scent or like caramel corn. Ooh, oh, that's yummy. It's a good thing that I already, I just ate. Cause this, it'd make me want to be, be kind of snacky. Yep, that sunk right in tell here I am moisturized but I'm not greasy at all which is what I really do enjoy about these lotions I wish that more came in here because as you can see the jar is really only about half full but you get enough in here to really get a feel for the lotion and Let's see what the description says. It says, we're always thrilled when one of this Brazilian beauty brand's confidence boosting products comes across our desks and even more so because Ipsters will be the first to try this better than ever body creams new and improved formula. Oh, huh. new and improved. Well, I don't know about new and improved, but because I don't know what the original was, but it feels just like the you know, the Boom Boom Cream and the Asahi Akai, you know, the purple one, just with that different scent. And it says it's packed with healthy ingredients your skin loves, including coconut oil, couple cow butter, and their signature cocoa sugar blend that work together to, lit to deliver up to 72 hours of hydration. Coconut oil and Asahi Akai, the A-C-A-I with the on the end or above the eye oil melt into your skin to condition nourish, nourish soften and hydrate cuckoo 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 <laughs> I have no idea uh, butter <laughs> helps lock in moisture and restore your skin's elasticity the fermented sugar blend acts as a natural humectant drawing moisture from the air around you and attracting it to your skin. If you have dry skin, dry skin, this moisture rich formula transforms it on contact and over time. And it's great for summer because despite being majorly hydrating, it won't feel heavy or greasy when you wear it. We love the updated scent. It's light and tropical with notes of young green coconut cream, tropical orchid and toasted praline just like a vacay in a bottle. 
definitely smells like popcorn. But okay. And then for the add-ons for the glam bag, I got the Balm Cosmetic, the Balm Jour Creamy Lip Stain in Namaste. So just here's the packaging. Typical super cute balm. The balm. And then here's the applicator. So your usual doe foot, kind of a darker reddish color there. I've not tried that out today. I'm wearing something different from Lime Crime and I'm loving it. It has even survived a meal and it's holding strong. But anyway, back to the task at hand. The Balm Cosmetics, uh, it says, why you'll love it is this unique formula starts off as a gloss, dries to a stain, and delivers the color payoff of a highly pigmented lipstick. Lips feeling dry, coat them with this stain slash gloss hybrid and they'll be soft and hydrated for hours. I will probably try this out tomorrow for work. I will let you know again in a little thingy down below here how that goes. I mean, it's a little dark, but we are heading into the fall, so it might be time to start using those darker shades anyway. Uh, it says you, it is long lasting, so you won't need to keep reapplying it. A plus when you're on the go. Glossy colors are buzzing right now. Our beauty editors saw them all over the runways at Fashion Week, and this one delivers on high shine. We are always excited when a product from the balm comes across our desks, but everyone at Ipsy HQ especially loves how smooth, creamy, and versatile these are. Namaste is a beautiful berry toned pink. I was thinking more like a brickish kind of color, but berry toned pink. Okay. I am going to go there too. And then next is the other eyeshadow that I purchased from Suva Beauty. So uh, outer packaging is exactly the same as the turmeric. And this one is the shade Coriander. So there's that one. I like a good inner corner and maybe brow bone highlight. I think that it would actually probably work really well together. And it says like on this one, yeah, all, all exactly the same. This is a golden pearl shade instead of that darker one. And the last one for the glam bag is the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. Eye Balm, like <laughs> balm. And it's obviously just a little little sample size. This one also I did not try today. Might give it a shot tomorrow. We'll see what it says. So it just looks like a just looks like an eye cream. The why you'll love it says rightfully called the bomb. This formula is spiked with comfrey leaf and pennywort herb to flood your under eye area with hydration for 26 hours. I don't know about you, but I'm going to wash my face a couple times within that period of time. So I don't think it's going to last through having your face washed. But uh, Whether you want to look more awake or it's time to tuck yourself in, the cooling effect feels super refreshing. So like, is there a mint in there that makes it I guess well I guess we'll give it a shot it's lightweight and fast absorbing so you can apply your concealer ASAP no excess baggage here the Lux formula helps boost skin elasticity and resilience and that was it for the regular bag so let's just really quickly do a couple of swatches of that eyeshadow and then we'll move on to the Glam Bag Plus. So this is the turmeric and then I'll do coriander on my, oh that feels super creamy. So here's what they look like on my fingers. This is the turmeric, this is coriander and again here we go. Turmeric, 
and coriander. So yeah, that coriander is really light. I think that would actually honestly be perfect in the inner corner and as a brow bone highlight. It felt super creamy, but it looked actually kind of dusty. But then I don't normally get into eyeshadow shades with an index finger. It's usually just my middle finger or my pinky. Okay, and then for the Glam Bag Plus, the first item is the NYX Professional Makeup Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette. Let's open up this guy here so we hopefully don't have any glare. Well, it's got one of those little sheets that I'm probably just gonna toss. There is no mirror in this. It's just that clear plastic. And then I'll turn it this way for the shades. So obviously most with a pinky tone, you've got kind of an orange one here. Some others that are... Uh, so this I would think is actually more like a highlighter. These are shimmery. These appear to be... Are those all matte? Yeah, so all the ones on... This is actually the top row since I'm holding it upside down. All these are shimmers. All these are mattes. And it says it's the ultimate assortment of eight blush hues from neutral mattes to soft shimmers. You can easily blend shades together for a just right blush. The two-in-one formula works just as well as an eyeshadow. There's nothing like a high pigment color payoff with a creamy application and it's certified cruelty free both product and ingredients. And then the next item is the Balm Cosmetics in the Balm of Your Hand Greatest Hits Volume 2 palette. Let's hold this one up. So you've got the uh, bronzer shade, several blushes, these on top look like this can be either a highlighter or eyeshadows. And it says, with eyeshadow, blushes, bronzer, and highlighter, this palette is an all-in-one winner. Portable and travel friendly, you can pack this palette everywhere you go. It contains crowd favorite shades that mix, match, and always complement. It's paraben-free, cruelty-free, and non-commutogenic, so you can feel good feel as good as you look. Ultra, ultra blendable formulas make on the go beauty a piece of cake. So I have purchased in the past some balm palettes while they were on sale from the Balm Cosmetics website. Once or maybe twice a year, they have this massive like half off sale. And I went crazy about a year and a half ago and bought several things. And honestly, I wasn't too impressed. But then my skills have improved since then. I still have those palettes. I'll probably go back, check them out again, and see if I'm still kind of meh about it or if I like it. So if I get a chance to do so prior to getting this video up, I will again put something in the little subtitle down below and I'll let you know. The next item is one that I have already gotten, I think, I think from FabFitFun. And I have that one in my shower, but this is the Ahava Hydration Cream Mask. I think the smell is kind of funky. Uh, there's no, it doesn't exfoliate at all. It's just a mask. Um, like I said, a hyd hydrating cream mask. So whereas I will exfoliate a couple times a week, I'll use this once a week. I have, again, you know, combo oily skin where most of my face is normal and then sides of the nose, chin, get oily. Doesn't matter whether I eat anything oily or not. It just starts exuding oil. It's frustrating, but hey, it is what it is. So I don't need a whole lot of extra hydration, but I'll, you know, once a week, I'll grab this and try it. So I don't mind having a backup for the one that I have. It's I'll probably never have to buy any because it just, 
I don't use it a whole awful lot, but let's see what it says. Is Ahava is serious about hydration. The ultra creamy texture packs in the moisture with just three minutes of use, which is why I will like wet down my hair or put on a, a hydrating mask on my hair, put that up, wash my face, put that on, then after I've rinsed off the soap, wash the rest of my body, rinse my hair, rinse this off of my face because it's usually then at least three minutes. Um, I do the same thing with the exfoliator that I use. It says, Dead Sea Mud gently draws out impurities, leaving the skin clean and refreshed. It doubles as an overnight mask for when skin needs a little extra TLC. If you've got sensitive skin, this mask is gentle enough for very dry and sensitive types. It contains a Hava Osmotor, a concentrated mineral rich Dead Sea water that optimizes cell metabolism, helps prevent or help protect from UV damage and increases moisture. And like all other products, it is vegan and paraben free. So maybe I want to try using this at night instead of in the shower. Because I do like to every once in a while put on a sleeping mask that I, you don't have to rinse it off. You just put it on and don't worry about it. So maybe I'll keep this one over on my vanity and use it occasionally at night instead. Anyway, moving on. The next item is the Suva Beauty Liquid Chrome Illuminating Drops in the shade Trust Fund. Uh, so that's what that looks like. I, as you can tell, it still has that thing on there. Didn't even notice it. I took it out of the box. I didn't notice it had a thingy on there. I'm not all that into liquid highlighters at all. It's just not my thing. But to those that are, more power to you. When it says, says this water resistant formula keeps your glow intact come rain or shine. It's enriched with pomegranate extracts, vitamin E and natural emollients for a flawless finish. The best ingredients straight from Italy, that's amore. Get an all over glow or striking strobes with this multi-purpose liquid formula. It is 100% vegan and cruelty free. And let's just go ahead and it's your typical like little dropper. That's just not gonna wanna stay that way. So let's see if I can just get a little bit on the back of my hand. It is intense. But here's the droplet. And then let's see if we go like this. Whew! That, that's a, that's a lot of shine right there. That's a lot of shine. Yeah, I can't see actually putting that on my face. But if you're not a grandmother, give it a shot. It'd be blingy, 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 blingy. Okay, I'm running out of time. I gotta go. Move a little faster here. So then the next item is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer with SPF 50 in the shade Light. I think it did let me choose my shade, which was really cool. The only problem is, is that it does not come in fair light like the other uh, foundations that I have from them. Fair is too light for me, light is too dark for me. Fair light is perfect. So maybe if I ever actually get a tan, I'm not gonna hold my breath, but I have this, or I also, I've got some mix in stuff that could lighten it up as well. But I've got the mattifying version of this. I don't think I have this exact one already so maybe I'll just try some of that mix-in stuff and call it call it good and then on I, this one I got three add-ons because I think they only let you do three at a time 
Um, I got another one of the matcha green tea ant antioxidant priming moisturizer from Perlise. I looked this up separately and was surprised that the MSRP on this is like $45. I have been using the one that I got in a previous box every day, every day. It's light. It does a good job. It moisturizes. It primes. It julienne's. It's great. I love it. I wanted to back up. So the description for the matcha green tea antioxidant priming moisturizer says you will love it because refresh and rejuvenate your complexion with this lightweight moisturizer that suits all skin types. The oil free consistency glides on beautifully and perfectly primes the face for makeup skin looks and feels hydrated and youthful in just one simple step. Well, it doesn't make I'm not going to look youthful. I'm not even going to do whatever. It's a nice primer though. And I do use that in addition to my regular moisturizer and um, other serums and things. It says when it comes to ingredients, this product is packed with the good stuff. Green tea is a powerful antioxidant that brilliantly combats the signs of aging and is a proven miracle worker when it comes to maintaining skin health. If you've got sensitive skin, definitely reach for this hydrating water cream enhanced with white tea, vitamin E, and French marine plants. This soothing moisturizer does your skin a world of good. Now, I, like I said, I've been using it as a primer not just as a moisturizer, but it, I like it. I wouldn't be reaching for it every day if I didn't. So when I saw the opportunity to grab it for $12 instead of 45, uh, yeah, you betcha. The next item that I purchased in addition to, so as an add-on, is the Perlise Blue Lotus Essential Daily Moisturizer SPF 30. So I don't know what the MSRP on this one is. I'll look it up like I normally do and put everything in the description box below. I am wearing this today. I wore this in instead of the combination of moisturizer and SPF like I've got over there, but I did just this one with my Drunk Elephant Serums instead of the two separate ones. This does smell very strongly of suntan lotion or sunscreen so if you are sensitive to that smell you might want to skip it uh, i do not know what the msrp for this is i can only assume since it's from the same brand as the matcha green tea it's probably also around 45 dollars. i will look that up put it in the description box below but when you purchase it as an add-on to your ipsy it is i believe just 12 dollars. so probably worth it I did not notice until I was getting ready to put it on that says it's for normal, dry, even sensitive skin. And I'm combo oily, so I did also wear a mattifying primer, the new one from Fenty Beauty. And yeah, I'm starting to kind of grease up in the normal areas, getting kind of getting kind of shiny. But that's normal. That's 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 all of them, all the time. The smell doesn't stick around for too awfully long but you know it seems to be doing the trick so far I have not gone outside so I don't know about the SPF part you know but it's doing doing a good job so far and what it says online is broad spectrum SPF protection from UVA and UVB rays and there's no white tint or greasy residue I do have to agree with that I don't see you know I don't think I did any flash photography it's just the normal ring lights and box lights and whatnot and nothing nothing flash but I'm definitely I'm not greasy in the parts of my face that don't get greasy so that's good it says it's lightweight enough to layer under makeup making daily use even easier yes it was very easy to use under my makeup it says the formula contains uh, vitamin e white tea and algae extracts to help prevent fine lines calm and soften skin a little late to prevent fine lines for me <laughs> we'll see what my skin looks like when i wash everything off at the end of the day its namesake blue lotus extract is a powerhouse anti-inflammatory antioxidant that works to ward off free radical damage 
caused by sun's rays, so it's protecting and restoring win-win. On the go, sun protection is made simple with this fast absorbing formula. And I gotta say that, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's doing the job. And then the last but not least, well, it might be the least in cost, is the Pixie by Petra Fet Fresh Face Blush in Whisper Pink. And I am wearing this today as part of my full face first impression. So you'll see that this looks a, looks a little used here. But here's the shade. You can still see the stamp of the brand in there. I did have to build it up a little bit and uh, actually ended up building it up too much had to tone everything down, but then with the bronzer and the highlight, that was way kind of chunky too, so it was probably a good thing that I could just tone it all down together. And this one says, this light diffusing powder blush is made with vitamin E to keep your skin soft, smooth, and hydrated. It's blendable and buildable. It's definitely buildable. One swipe gave us a subtle flush for a, for day, a few more, and we were beach party ready at night so yes i agree with that absolutely it was very very subtle on the first sweep built it up and i was like whoa <laughs> it went from zero to 60 really fast so watch yourself pace yourself because it really quickly was in your face and it says whisper pink is a soft satin finish blush that instantly gives off summer vibes no animal testing here this baby is 100 percent cruelty free so that's it. That is my August Ipsy Glam Bag Glam Bag Plus combo for the two. They also now have a Glam Bag Ultimate. And I believe that is going to be coming in October. So I have signed up for that Glam Bag. Yeah, this is coming in October. So Glam Bag Ultimate. So that one has... I believe, if I remember correctly, several full-size products and several sample-size products. So it could just be like it's it's a combination of the Glam Bag Glam Bag Plus. I believe its cost is about fifty dollars a month. So I've got the eleven, I've got the twenty-five, and then now the fifty. So that's going to be a lot of money that Ipsy is going to be getting from me every month if that. Glam Bag Ultimate just ends up being exactly that, a combination of what it is that I'm getting separately from the Glam Bag and the Glam Bag Plus, I will probably not continue because why? <laughs> that costs more than the other two do combined. But we'll see. We'll see if the quality of the items is worth it. I'll do my usual breakdown down below of what I paid versus what the value of the bag is and whether I feel like it's worth it or not. But we'll see. I figured it was at least it was worth a shot. But like I said, that's it for this one. If you like the video, please like the video. If you like me, please subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you all again in another video soon. Bye.